To wrap it all up and tie it all in today, um, I want to teach people how to connect to their authentic self, so the true self, not, not the false self. So what there is, is there's a, there's a technique that I use to, to connect to that. So basically we're talking to the subconscious, and to me the subconscious is just like Google and YouTube. If you ask it a question, it has to give you an answer. Even if it gives you the no answer answer, it's still telling us something. So what I want you to do, if you're, if you're happy to do it, is we'll go through um, your life, the people that have made you feel your favorite positive emotion, and we'll find out why, why they make you feel that feeling, because that's like your DNA blueprint for that feeling. Right, so you have to have yeah, it rock and roll? Okay. Let's do it. So what's one of your favorite things in the whole world to do? Train. And, gym. and when you're doing that, what emotion are you feeling? Confident. Confident. Okay, so that, that's your life's purpose and it's also the emotion that we'll that we'll do this thing with, alright? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for it I'm gonna get you to close your eyes and I want you to repeat this. Say, show me the memory. Show me the memory. Of a person who made me feel confident. Of a person who made me feel confident. When I was five. When I was five. Who can you see? My dad. And why did he make you feel confident in that moment? Can I open my eyes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember, I remember like, math, um, I was in, I was at primary school yeah. and he told me, he goes, and I, was, I don't know why it stuck, like, well, he said, you can do whatever, you can do whatever you want. If you put your mind to something, you can do whatever you want in this world. You can wow. do whatever you want, Luke. And I think about that now, like, I've thought about it recently as well, that, and that's the law of attraction at its finest, you know yeah. what I mean? If you think about it, and, you, and, you, and but I don't know if he, like, like he obviously was, you know, confident in, in, in what he was telling me, but I don't know if he knew how much of an impact that was, but, and that probably stuck, that's probably stuck with me. That has set your whole life yeah. up. I, I believe everyone has a moment between the age of zero to eight that sets the tone for their life, and that was just, that was that it moment. Sticks out. Like, I was, yeah. like, Young as any, like in kindergarten. So, and now look what you're doing with like the youth that you're working with and at your gym, you're instilling that confidence and belief in them. Yeah. So you're now playing the role of your dad. Yeah. Right, so that memory, that's like that trigger confident, that's that trigger memory that you're gonna relive for the rest of your life. So this is the positive side. Nice. So, all right, so let's do the next one. Close your eyes. Uh, repeat this, say, show me the memory. Show me the memory. Of a person who made me feel confident. Of a person who made me feel confident. When I was 10. When I was 10. Who can you say? Memory or blank? Blank. It's alright, that just means that's a shit year and then we'll go on to the next one. So close yeah. your eyes. Show me the memory. Show me the memory. Of a person who made me feel confident. Of a person who made me feel confident. When I was 15. When I was 15. Got that. Yeah? Yeah. And why did that person make you feel confident in that moment? I I just got into a fight. And he, he told me, he told me mate, I'm, I'm the, I'm, that I'm the best fighter he's ever seen. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So again, it's that belief. And it was just a friend. It's just that belief in you for for no reason. He's just saying that because that's what he felt. The best one I've ever seen. Yeah. Wow. I'm still my best mate now. There you go. Remember, what a legend. Yeah. All right. Next one. Close your eyes. Repeat this. Yeah. Say, show me the memory. Show me the memory of a person who made me feel confident. Of a person who made me feel confident. When I was twenty. When I was twenty. Yeah. I'm a boxing trainer. And why did they make you feel confident in that moment? Oh. When I was, I was, I just started boxing. It was, uh, actually, actually, it was a bit later. It just that, what was that, like 20? Around about that time? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was around about that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the sort of age. And that actually, it was my dad again. Uh, it was yeah. my dad again because I just started training with, I just started training with him in the backyard. And I threw, a, I threw a right hand. And that night, I heard him on on the phone to his to his friend Frank Keane, who was, who was past now, really legend guy, top uh, incredible man. And he told him, he goes, um, "Can you look after my boy? He's got an incredible right hand." Mm. And I remember hearing that, and it made me feel again like same thing. It's all fighting, isn't it? Oh, well, well, it's all belief. What they're doing is they're believing in you. Yeah. Because it didn't. It doesn't necessarily have to be fighting. It's just yeah, that yeah, person cool. going, "He is awesome at this." And that uh, that and. Uh, it wasn't a year later to us to start actually getting boxing, but, but I was just doing the pads with the dad in the backyard and he yeah. said that and I was just like, wow. Going back to 10 is actually, going back to 10. Yeah. At, at our, at our, uh, so our just unload uh, stuff. Going, like going, going back to 10, going back to 10. At our family barbecues. Yeah. We'd all have, uh, like, with all the parents were there and stuff like that and my dad. And I remember as well boxing. Uh, fighting my older cousins and my brother and I used to go great, you know, and I remember my, my dad and like his friends talking about it over the bar like over the barbecue saying, Man, Luke goes all right, yeah. sort of thing, you know, and it's all that yeah, um it was just that confidence and that feeling of 
of yeah, I don't know, is it respect or that, that feeling of yeah of, of accomplishment and fit and yeah. yeah, so yeah, it's all of that. Yeah. All right. Next one. Uh, repeat this. Say, show me the memory. Show me the memory of a person who made me feel confident. Of a person who made me feel confident when I was 25. When I was 25. Got it. Okay. Why do they make you feel confident in that moment? She it was my my wife at the time. Still my best one of my best friends. I'd she. I remember talk, her commenting on how far I've come in in, in not only my life but in business. Mm. When I when I first started with her. When I started going out with her, I was shy and I couldn't, I didn't uh, like talking to people. Yeah. I hated talking to people, meeting new people, I'd get anxious, I felt awkward, all this sort of stuff. And through her guidance and through personal development and through all that sort of stuff, I'd, I'd broken through that. Mm. And, I, she, and, she, and she backed me up and, and, told, and, and made that comment about how far I'd come. Yeah. And congratulate, and like, and, and it was, it was, and we talked about sales or whatever, but I'd, I would be, I was confident on the, enough to speak to people on the phones to try to get them to come into the gym. Yeah. And, and she overheard she overheard me speaking on the phone. Like I, I used to go outside and, and sort of get away from everyone, but then I became confident I was I could speak to people because I was confident in myself. And and she commented and she commented on that. So again, the same pattern is that belief in you. Yeah. You know, and acknowledging what you're good at. Yes. Yeah. Same pattern. That's right. All right. Next one. Close your eyes. Repeat this. So, say, show me the memory. Show me the memory of a person who made me feel confident. Of a person who made me feel confident. When I was thirty. When I was thirty. It was my, my my best mate again, Liam. Yeah. When I was fifteen, he took me up. I he asked me to come and help him in in his business because he realised how good I was with um, with the gym and all that sort of stuff. So he asked for help. So he asked to bring me on. Wow. Yeah. To, and now we're we're a team. Awesome. Yeah. How good is that? And it's good. So it's again, really good. they believe in you. Yes, that's yeah. right. Strong pattern. Yeah. It's All awesome. Right. I like that. Um, last one. Close yeah. your eyes. Repeat this. Say, you give my age away, bro. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Show me the memory. Show me the memory. Of a person who made me feel confident. A person who made me feel confident. No, Don't. 30 and a half. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. 31. <laughs> you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, mate. It's you. Asking me to well, come here today. Yeah, well, it's, your, it's yeah, it's it, yeah, just sitting here today. It's it's um, rocking up here. And, like I'm going for an interview. Like well, it's make it's make it makes me feel confident. Yeah, it makes me feel yeah. I'm and I'm it, somebody it, to speak to. I'm somebody that, that wants to get filmed. I'm somebody that you know what you know like and yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good feeling. It, and, and it follows the patterns because I believe in you too. Like when I when I saw yeah, you um, that day, your story and all the stuff and just how just who you are is like you know I believe in this guy. This this guy is on a on a great mission. I want to be part of it. So there you go. Oh well, man. All right, mate. Well, thanks heaps. You're the first one in the whole series of inspiring people. And that so. makes me feel confident. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks for, for coming on board for that, and mate, it's just an absolute pleasure. And wish you all the best. And yeah. My man, thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.